Details of China's first white paper document on Arctic policies were released this morning. Deputy Foreign Minister Kong Xuanyou defined the policy in four aspects – definition, determination, principles and proposition. It stresses that China should be firm in defining itself as an important stakeholder in the Arctic for its geographic adjacency to the area and its participation in regional and global affairs. The document also outlines China's determination in future policy making. China is determined to better know the Arctic, protect the Arctic, utilize the Arctic, and participate in the governance of the Arctic. Principles of China's Arctic policy making are also an important topic of the document. Kong Xuanyou pointed out that China follows the principles of respect, cooperation, win-win, and sustainability while participating in Arctic affairs. He said that China will respect the sovereignty, rights, and jurisdiction of Arctic countries, respect the freedom of activities in the area by non-Arctic states, and respect the common interest of the international community. When cooperating with other stakeholders, China wishes to build multilateral, comprehensive, sophisticated relations and maintain a win-win situation among different countries and industries. Kong also stressed the importance of environmental protection, reasonable exploration, and responsible human activities. The last section of the document listed China's propositions in its future role in the Arctic affairs. They demonstrate the previously said determinations and principles in five aspects. To deepen China's knowledge and exploration of the region. To protect the Arctic atmosphere and address climate change actively. To use natural resources including fishery and tide energy as well as develop tourism. To participate in the governance of the area and improve cooperation with other stakeholders. Lastly, to promote peace and stability for the Arctic.